HoopsOnLane.com Fan Podcast, Episode 45, Nebraska Pregame. Hoops on Lane Fan Podcast is sponsored by About Face Cosmetic Therapy Center because basketball season is also laser hair removal season. You're listening to Hoops on Lane, a fan-produced pregame and postgame podcast about the Ohio State University men's basketball team. Visit hoopsonlane.com or subscribe where you listen to podcasts for all the latest episodes and information. Now here's your host, Dave Horning. Greetings, Hoops fans. This is Dave Horning for hoopsonlane.com fan podcast with a preview of the next Ohio State Buckeyes game. A home game coming up this Monday, January 22nd at 8 p.m. Columbus time against Nebraska at The Shot. The game will be broadcast on Big Ten Network and on radio at the Fan 97.1 FM. This will be the Buckeyes' only game against the Cornhuskers on the regular season schedule. Ohio State is now 8 wins and no losses in the Big Ten, tied with Purdue for first place. Nebraska has a record of 5 wins against 3 losses in the Big Ten, tied with Michigan for fourth place. However, Nebraska's last game was a home win over the Wolverines. They also have home wins over Wisconsin, Illinois, and Minnesota, and that was back in December when Minnesota had their full team playing. This Nebraska team deserves respect, as they played Kansas at home and lost by just one point. They beat Boston College in the ACC Big Ten Challenge, one of only three Big Ten teams to win this year. In the Team Rankings website of all 351 Division I men's basketball programs, Nebraska is ranked number 62, just behind Gonzaga, who is now ranked number 60. Ohio State has moved up to number 19 on this website. Last Thursday, Nebraska beat Michigan at home by the score of 72-52. to It was a dominating win over the Wolverines, who shot terribly. Michigan made only 4 of 18 three-point shots for 22%, and 21 of 56 shots overall for 38%. Michigan even out-rebounded Nebraska and took nine more shots, but Nebraska was 5 for 11 for 46% on three-point shots and 26 of 47 for 55% overall. Nebraska won that game with its shooting. Nebraska worked the ball inside against Michigan, and Michigan was called for a lot of fouls, which resulted in 23 free-throw attempts for Nebraska compared to just 10 for Michigan. If Caleb Wesson has another solid game down low, I don't think Nebraska can score so easily inside the arc. Kade Bates Diop and Jay Sean Tate are also playing strong defense, so look for Nebraska to take more three point shots against the Buckeyes. They took 22 three point shots against Kansas. I don't see Nebraska getting a lot of easy baskets down low against the Buckeyes. The starting lineup for the Cornhuskers is expected to be number 14, 6'9 junior forward Isaiah Copeland, number 15, 6'8 sophomore forward Isaiah Roby. Number 13, 6'8 senior guard Anton Gill, their three-point threat, who has made 47% of his attempts. That's number 13, Anton Gill. Number 24, 6'5 junior guard James Palmer Jr., their leading scorer, averaging 16 points per game. That's number 24, James Palmer. Number 5, six-foot junior guard Glenn Watson Jr. Also, look for number 11, 6'4 senior guard Evan Taylor to get significant playing time. He is making 46% of his three-point shots. Nebraska is coached by Tim Miles in his sixth season as head coach of the Cornhuskers. In his second season, which was 2014, he led Nebraska to its first NCAA appearance in 16 years, which resulted in him being named the Jim Phelan National Coach of the Year, an award given by CollegeInsider.com. He was also selected to be the Big Ten Coach of the Year that year by his peers. He is a good coach, and Nebraska is on the bubble for a possible NCAA appearance this year also. A win at Ohio State would give them the quality win they need to assure the invitation, and it is Ohio State's mission to win this game and further burnish our own credentials. Ohio State's starting lineup will be number 34, 6'9 freshman center Caleb Wesson, number 33, 6'7 junior power forward Kata Bates-Diop, number 15, 6'2 senior shooting guard Cam Williams, number 3, 6'1 junior shooting guard or point guard C.J. Jackson, and number 1, 6'4 senior J. Sean Tate, point guard or small forward. Ohio State is coached by Chris Holtman in his first year. Look for the friendly confines of the Schottenstein Center to bolster the confidence of Kata Bates Diop when he takes his next three-point shot. Expect the crowd to go crazy when it goes in. Be there on Monday at the shot to join the celebration. Tip-off is 8 p.m. This is Dave Horning for HoopsOnLane.com Fan Podcast. See you Monday at the shot. Be there.